Hey there everybody, I'm Bix here with um, the last of the Harry Potter summer uh, sets for the Major Wave. Um, I reviewed all of them except the sort of poly bag, but uh, yeah, this is the last one I haven't reviewed yet. So yeah, um, I'm always doing something Lego, for example, like um, yesterday, I or yeah, yesterday at the time of the recording of this video, I posted or um, I made a haul video where I got the string set. And then a bit of yesterday and most of today, I built this and now I'm going to review it for you guys. So this is the Hogwarts Express, um, $80 for around 800 pieces. That piece for part is already looking good, but let's just dive into the set and see all the play features. It consists of the Hogwarts Express itself and King's Cross Station. So let's take a look at King's Cross Station first because that's what you build in the first two bags. So as you saw at the beginning and probably in the thumbnail, um, the train can fit under it, the Hogwarts Express, which is very nice. So um, this consists of two different places, platform nine and three quarters, and then so the wizarding world and then the muggle world. Um, this is the muggle world, this place, and then this is the wizarding world. And the build of this is just enjoyable all throughout, even in the train, it's like it goes together fairly quickly. After just 15 minutes of building, you should have all of this done and three figures. So it feels very rewarding as you build everything because, you know, it's getting done so fast and you're placing, it's fun to place these panel pieces on. But you can also feel the value of the money and really where the pieces went into. So we got some staircases and here's something no one will care about, but it annoys me a lot, this thing. They didn't use a two by two. They used two separate one by twos. Have no idea why a two by two would have worked there. But anyway, that's just something I wanted to note. But um, here's how the thing looks from the back in case anyone know, uh, wanted to know. So we got some stairs up. Um, yeah, this is actually pretty generous in space. Uh, we got a clock up there. Um, the time on the box is different than what they say to do in the instructions, but you know, these can both be articulated separately though this is what they say in the instructions and again the box does have something different but just got Harry up there chasing Ron pretending this is like his first year but anyway this is probably set in the third from the wanted posters and uh, Professor Lupin which we'll take at the figures at the end and look at them another staircase going down and I like how the lanterns changed between the wizarding world and then the muggle world. Here we have a minifigure head. I actually like this style better just because it has that nice piece, but then, you know, the wizarding world, um, that's more fitting. But King's Cross, that is um, um, a, not a s printed, it is a sticker. And there are platform 9 and 10. And what's nice is you see a sticker on this side, and they include other stickers for the other side. So that's very nice. and. Right between platform 9 and 10 is the column. And the worked in a very nice play feature for this. Let's try to get a good camera angle. So with the trolley, it's intended to work. Yeah, you push that and the wall and the figure goes straight through and then closes up. It does swing a bit, but hey, it's Lego and didn't take that long. And then you can have a lot of fun with this Harry coming down and being like, where'd he go? And then Harry like touches it and then he like falls through as well. So you could do something like that. Um, we got some of those lanterns, a wanted poster for Sirius Black. That's a nice Legoification. Would like another one over there, even though it is a sticker piece. And um, he has his number, a new hair piece though. So I think we'll get um, him in this year's, in the summer of this year for Harry Potter sets. We have two printed, the exact same of the Daily Prophet, uh, exclusive Harry Potter, The Boy Who Lived. That is not exclusive to the set, however. I believe it also came in the Whomping Willow Hogwarts set. We got a nice stickered uh, piece right there. Platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express. And yeah, it's, again, it's generous. The amount of space you can have to just pose figures all around this. Like this alone, I'd say it wouldn't do well as a $20 set though. Um, it would be worth it. I don't know, that's just me personally. It just has a lot going for it. But then, while they're waiting, the train could pull up, and that's a very nice looking train. So let's take a look at that. Wow, this Hogwarts Express is a beauty. Just the color scheme, they, cap they captured everything so well. 
consists of three separatable parts. So the cabin for where figures sit, the steam room or where, or in this case, they use it as a luggage compartment to hold the bags instead of above the seats. And then the main sort of front of the train. I don't know what to call this actually, but just off the bat, here's something I love. Even in the Hogwarts Express, they have this and in old trains. See that piston right there? Let's try to zoom out a bit. And then as you move that, that thing moves. And that's on both sides. It's so simple. That building technique is just so simple, but it's so fun to look at. But we got a nice rounded printed piece, Hogwarts Castle, with some gold around it. A stickered piece right here. What else we got? A lot of... Uh, wheels right here um someone has actually posted a video where they motorized this that's pretty cool but um it is possible there we got a sticker right here and the rounding of this section right here with which by the way a nice print right there that is a nice printed piece hogwarts express um would not be possible without these pieces right here these two by two sloped pieces but they just captured everything so well we even have this line going through it and even stickers at the side, you know, those stickers are actually a bit of a pain to put in. Sorry, I was real zoomed out there. But anyway, uh, another Hogwarts Express. The thing is, these are by, sorry, Hogwarts Castle. These are held by one, um, one stud, a jumper. So they do like to move a bit, but, you know, it is a rounded piece. So you don't see how they'd connect that easily with two jumpers, except it, unless this was way bigger and more complex, and it probably wouldn't look as amazing as it does right now you have a kind of core with studs at the side going through this then you attach panels to the sides of these and then some bricks at the top i like that pearl gold old and new used all over it i hate like that though like seeing both the different colors i'd like to see only one but you got two lights there which don't light up uh, i'll tell you why i said that when we look at the box but here's something nice lego did lego probably knows that lego is about like being creative lego will know that people want to motorize this and they gave that option so this i think it's just fine turning is a bit like that but i think that's as well fine the but on um your railway setup if you have one making it go and then on turns will just come right off so you look you just lift this up so easily and then that piece is free to turn looks here as well so yeah i just the reason i don't like that is i don't think it looks particularly good but you know it's great for trains like for when you're not gonna motorize it, i think that it's better to leave this down but the thing is that's a bit of a weak attachment point right there that's the same as how you attach like this uh section right here and you can see how easily you can pull that off because the pin isn't all the way in only half of it is but in the back we have a little kind of furnace room and you can pull this off only connected by just the four studs you got two sort of monitors and some flame in there that looks very nice i just love the look at this thing from the back no accessible um space from the inside but you know it just looks so great so i'm actually um fine with that sorry about the focus right here that's terrible let's let's try to get it okay there we go so um yeah, that's pretty much it for this room, though. Let's not room this um section, though. Let's take a look at this one. It goes this way, the way I know that is the little handle at the back. But you put this in here, and yeah. Um, one thing to note that you probably already saw with Ron is the trolley. He does have scampers right there, the little rat um, wheels that don't move, and just a simple build, though. I believe it is minifigure scale and it comes with two luggages now what you could do with this is turn the whole thing over this lifts up and you have a lot of space in there it's a bit dark right now but yeah there you got a lot of space you could actually um probably i bet fit a couple of figures in there for example if we take ron oh the handle came out with him yeah see you could actually stand him up and close the whole thing. So that does work, but you know, it is intended just for luggage. So yeah, it could fit a lot of luggage. And that's just simple. It uses the sticker on either side. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Now let's move on to the third and final section, which you can actually attach here or here. Um, 
So let's just go with it here. Nah, here then. Yeah, this way because and there's a reason I did that. I'll talk about later. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, by the way, they do use some metal pieces. Sorry about that. That was a bit rough. But they use some metal pieces in there. Just sort of metal bars. But they come in packaging that like the capes come in. But would be nice to get a second passenger train. But honestly, that's not that big of a complaint to me personally. This is just such a great set in my opinion more about that when we like take a look at the box and everything but again the roof uses a lot of those two uh those uh two by fours that are sloped and then a lot of jumpers it just again feels so rewarding to tile up these plates and it goes down pretty quickly though you do feel the value yeah there's really no easy way to get your fingers in there oh wait this whole wall this whole wall just pops out and okay you guys might not believe me but um i haven't reviewed any of my mock city but to prove that i have it there it is and you see that clothes store in the background right there well back to the set anyway i have that exact future feature and i even made a mini model and uh, i was still thinking of making my channel at the time and i really th like a lot i even do this now looking through catalogs on my own when I pretend that I, I'm on camera or stuff like that and yeah I was actually talking about how I'd love for Lego to do that just so much easy play accessibility you guys might not believe me but I was so happy to see this and thank you Lego for actually doing this I hope they do it on all sorts of places anyway we got a 1x4 sticker all the windows open up same build on the other side except it can't be pulled off I'm not mad about that and they did that intentionally which we'll get to uh, later but anyway we we got to look at this the trolley which is cart same wheels that don't actually move though nice sand green and gold coloring ice cream piece in yellow is nice uh, relatively new triangular piece and then um frog in that brown color to represent a chocolate frog would like to get just a handful of these or maybe two of these i don't know like i can't care for that one by one just three of these or two in purple to represent the chocolate frog boxes and then that could be one that escaped just a suggestion um anyway zooming out a bit obviously um they couldn't fit the sort of rails just like we have on trains at the top where you can put your luggage on but that's fine whose decision i wonder was it to put um sand blue in here hmm that's odd to me though I, if I was building a Hogwarts success, I would never think about that. But for some reason, I don't know why it works. I just don't know why. These two are identical builds. And yeah, some studs at the side construction. They don't fit four and there aren't cabins. But again, this is Lego and downsized from the real train. But that's how a chair looks. And yeah, you can fit two figures um, facing each other. So... That's pretty good and you can see that space in the middle that is actually intended to fit the trolley and when you put this in it does go up a bit but you can also fit um this it goes like either way you want actually so uh yeah just push it down a bit but anyway i wanted to note that these are the less high um door frames not like the door frames we're used to yeah, mm, they can't even fit um, a minifigure with short legs. Like, yeah, you can, I guess it works with short legs, but then the thing is, you can't fit like Professor Loop and he'd have to bend down. But I understand the downsize, like, but we also have the chair just covering the doorway in there. But um, yeah, that is pretty much it for the Hogwarts Express. Let's actually um, then, I guess, move on to the figures because we're pretty much done with the build. Okay, so right here you can see that we have the trolley witch and we just took a look at her cart inside the Hogwarts Express. So I figured that we should um, look at her. So um, no leg printing on this one, but that's perfectly fine. Um, she is just, um, you know, her legs, I, we don't see her much, are pretty plain. Um, the, uh, the torso print, I believe, is new and actually very fine detail. You see the collar right there? That sort of diamond design with even they accounted for the folds and everything on the collar and then that nice sort of maroonish color. A necklace, some back torso printing continuing with that color. Maybe it's a sweater. 
yeah, and then this is the vest around it. Not sure, because she also has the pink sleeves. Uh, the hairpiece and the face print are of Aunt May's. Maybe this one are, is um, when she sees a Dementor on the train. And from The Cursed Child, if you read that, um, they don't include any spike actions for her hands. But um, that is it for the uh, trolley lady. Another figure we haven't looked at yet is the Dementor, as of like in the set, as I walked you through those details. Nice to see Curved Sclave's sort of cape piece, um, tattered cape return right there. But it is the old material, and he does have no back torso printing. But that leg piece, though, that's great, great stuff. Let's try to <clears throat> pull his torso off. Yeah, these will come off a bit different from batch to batch, just in the way they are produced. But this is basically what you're gonna get that awesome clear piece with um, some black to it, and then. Uh, let me bring back the figure. You can even fit a figure's torso on it, just like any other leg pieces. Though the one by two on the base, instead of being this way, like you would suspect, it goes back and fits onto it like that. And then it's even uneven. <laughs> even uneven, yeah. Um, he has that uh, torso print right there, appropriate. And then that is a great um, face print to get and that hood. And no um, back facial expression for this one, but a great figure, definitely. Here is Professor, Professor Lupin, and for a little alert, um, the alternate face does reveal something, but he has his suitcase, which doesn't have his name on it, as Hermione points out, a wand right there. They do come in a two-pack, and you do uh, get two extra wands. Not this color, because Ron uses the other ones, but you get an extra of this wand and this wand. Just wanted to point that out, but plain pants, um, good uh, torso print. The hair, I believe, Maybe new, but I doubt it. I think I've seen that before. Oh, yeah, isn't that from like the Lego Ninjago uh, CMF for the shark army general who's not blown up with the little slushy? Forgot her name, but I think so, though it is, I believe, in a new color. He has those scratch marks over his front face. And here's the back one for spoil alert when he's turning into a werewolf. And it would be nice to get like. I understand why they didn't, but I like a face when he's sleeping, like they showed in the movie, but you know, uh, it's good to get that werewolf face and this face, so I'm um, happy with the choices they made. So I hit up most of the exclusives, now let's get into like the main three. So here is Harry Potter, I think it's a good inclusion because this uh, like it's the Harry Potter line, you know. He's been in every set, and I'm not mad about that. I'm actually happy, other than the Fantastic Beasts sets, of course. But I am happy for that because, you know, makes sense. If a kid gets any Harry Potter set, he should get a Harry Potter. I, I believe that. So, yeah, this is pretty good. He has um, torso printing, which is just so accurate. He's, he always wears that in, like, all the movies. He has that nice wand again, which you get an extra of. That hair piece that, that amazingly parts for the scar, and then back expression that is a lot more scared but that is it for Harry Potter here is Ron Weasley not exclusive though th that does fit him as well that torso a uh, good facial expression on this one it fits the character and a very scared expression also fitting him when maybe he comes face to face with Aragog yes finally a Hermione that doesn't come in the Gryffindor uniform and that is the perfect torso print. I'd love it if it came with her cat with a new mold, not like the one they used in the CMF. But anyway, do you remember in the third one, The Prisoner of Azkaban, in the Leaky Cauldron, when she's having a fight with Ron about um, her cat chasing his rat? Scro um, forgot the name, I just said it earlier in this video, but that's exactly what she was wearing. That is perfect. And even, you can use that like anywhere. That's such a great print though. It's it has a lot of neon coloring, neon pink, neon yellow, and neon bluish to it. So that was her first face, and here you have a more scared one, and a great hairpiece that I'm happy is not rubber, it is hard plastic. All told, this is a good set. 800 pieces for $80 in the US is a good price. Uh, usually on sale, you get it for 70 I got it for $60, so that's pretty great. Um, yeah, a piece apart is just about where you want it. Good number of figures, I'd say, for um, 
how much is it included the train and the platform i say between the two are worth the price of the 80 dollars relative to what lego gives us um it's a bit of uh, damaged up there but you know that's just what happens sometimes but anyway the railway when i saw it in pictures and stuff like that i got mad as uh, i thought like some kids might think a railway isn't good but nah, you know i don't think kids will th uh, think that seeing it the box in person so that, that is that. Those lights right there, that's why in the review earlier I said that those don't light up. I can easily see a kid walking into a Lego store, seeing the set and being like, let's get that one, it lights up. Going home and finds out that it doesn't because that, I'm fine with special effects on boxes. I actually really like them. For example, right there, Lupin's wand has a special flex, though no kid would fall for that. Also, the Death Eater has some, um, Dementor, sorry, has some more of that black smoke. No kid would fall for that. I don't think so. You know, that sort of magical fog everywhere, fog coming out of there. But that, that is just bad, that um, light brick. But yeah, um, it's just so gorgeous. And as I said, the build process was just so amazing, so fun. I love how the wall pops out there. You've got a great platform. Uh, King's Cross and Platform 9 and 3 quarters and yeah I did want to note um, one last thing or two more things actually one is at first I didn't know about this set for me I do like getting sets with a lot of play value and this strictly speaking doesn't really have that uh, really um the Dementor has some but limited because in the movie it's an exacto patronum and then it's away you know so limited play value there and then the train is just for sitting no uh, like buttons you push to make the train break apart or anything like that there's a bit of play with the whole um sort of a platform but again um 80 bucks but then there are a lot of kids teens and adults whom i am not one of them who love the train sets and they just like the trains like the re uh, um but i still like this set even um not being one of those uh people who just uh, generally like trains because they just did a fantastic job and i'm a huge harry potter fan and it's just such an iconic harry potter set that i'm happy that it was made uh so the last thing to note is that my mom actually got me this set so thanks to her and she I, I all i asked for her to get me was a blind bag but she got me this and um one last thing is um she said she wanted to say that she kind of had an idea like the blind bags before except she did it with cds that she used to sell but yeah that's it for this video hope you liked it please subscribe leave a comment down below and i'll talk to you again soon